this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario! Now let's see how Peach has been holding up so far. Again? Yeah, I mean, he's not that stupid. Right? Oh. He's a Minbari? No. No, not in this game. No one's gonna get that reference. Oh, well. But yeah, we gotta get out of here. So, gotta... Well, a couple things we gotta do around here, so... Hey, hey! We don't have to go through the long, narrow hallway again! Alright! Well, we're making progress! But anyway, okay, first things first, we need to... Uh, get a key to open this door. Uh, I forget which room I need to go into. I think it's this one. I know it's on the right. Okay, good, good. And remember, the uh, far right room, the other one, has the big treasure chest there. Or the mystery chest, or whatever they call it. How'd you get so... Well, okay, never mind. Yeah, there's... I can probably guess how we got so big, but... Oh, okay, sure. Just, uh, pop in a microwave dinner or something? Or... W what do you want? We don't even have a fire to cook with. Oh. How do I get there? Hey, hey, all right. Sounds easy enough. Can I open a different door with it? No. Nah. No, nah, it doesn't work that way. Okay, well now we gotta be a uh, Metal Gear Peach or something. I don't know. Whoa. Anyway, yeah, just get out of here. We could go to other rooms. And you know what? I'm gonna do that. So let's see. We gotta avoid these guys, so... Be careful with the one on the left there, because he turns around fairly quickly sometimes. Okay, come on. Okay. Now what I want to do, the kitchen's right up there. But let's go over to this room instead. Couldn't go here before. What do we got here? Oh, it seems like a nice room. At least I got a bed. Well, I suppose Peach's room has a bed. But this one has... Well, this one looks nicer to me. Hey, how's it going? How'd you get here? Is that a teleportation uh, cupboard? Or whatever that thing is? Wow, that was like a month ago. How, uh, how have you been staying alive? Like water and food and all that? Well, I suppose he is right next to the kitchen. Do you have anything for me? Well, he doesn't. But we do get this. Ha-ha! And that's a really good badge. I, I mean, I like using it in certain situations. But it depends on how the uh, the damage formula works, the order of operations and stuff. And I'll go over that when I decide to use that badge. But yeah, it can be really, really good in the right circumstances. So anyway, unfortunately, if we go to the kitchen right now and bake something for the gourmet guy... Uh, we'll automatically go straight back to him, and we won't be able to do anything with this badge. So what I want to do is put it in the chest now, and then go back down there to uh, cook. Not that I'm really going to need this now. I suppose you could put it in the chest and save it for later. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, keep it on Peach, and then put it back there later when we're when it's otherwise more convenient. But I figured let's just do it now, get it over and done with. Okay, now I gotta be careful for the one on the left there. Fortunately, they never shine the light on the stairs. Whoa, careful. Okay, careful. Whoa! Okay, whew! Almost got caught there, but we made it. But yeah, we remember this from, uh, well, the intro of the game. We, there is taste tea here. So let's see what we can do. Sounds like a plan. 
Why do you need that many cookbooks, though? And couldn't you just, I don't know, look up something on the internet? Well, I don't think they have the internet in, uh, the Mushroom Kingdom, I guess. Sounds like a plan. I'd love to have some of that. So, what do we got? What do we need? So we got a little cooking mini-game thing we gotta do here. Sounds like a plan. So let's see, we, well, we already got a bowl here, so where's the sugar? There it is. How much should we put in there? And just put it all in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, he said, er, he said eggs, right? I think it was sugar and eggs. Uh, no. No, I'm not done yet. You're not gonna tell me if I got that right. Oh, boy. I'm pretty sure it was sugar and eggs. Okay, well, we no don't use a cleanser. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's eggs. And th this better be right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. I suppose I could have chosen to start over. Okay, sounds like a plan. Oh. oh, okay, sounds like a plan. Why you can't do the cooking, I don't know. I could get the ingredients, but, well, I guess you're a little small for that and you don't have opposable thumbs. That could be a problem. Sounds good to me. Okay. Okay, flour and butter. Okay, what do we got? Well, there's our flour. Okay, I think I got the egg part right, because if I didn't, they'd probably be telling me to use eggs about now. Butter! Yeah, Ichi Bailey, my memory is not so good, but I suppose you know that by now. Do we have to mix those two? Ah, okay. So, do we mix it first, or...? Ah, okay. Yeah, we don't have to do the mixing part again. She already does that for us. We got it? What do we do now? Thirty seconds? That's not gonna do anything. What, what are we gonna do? Just pop it in a microwave or something? Well, just assume that this actually works, viewers. Okay, sounds like a plan. Yeah, unfortunately, the game doesn't have a timer in here. So, I hope the Nintendo 64 had a really, really good timer. But, fortunately, I'm using a timer for this recording. Okay, so, let's see. 30 seconds from now, and, well, that's... All you gotta do. What do we have the wood there for? I mean, I you put is this like a wooden stove or something? Or well, I mean, not the stove itself, but I mean, they use wood to make the fire or something. I don't know how that works, viewers. Then again, I'm not really much of a cook. Oh, I know how to cook. I was really good at uh, home ec and all that, but uh, I just don't like to. But if you're going to do a job, better do it right. That's what H.C. Bailey says. But, okay, hopefully I cooked it long enough. Mmm, delicious cream. Do we need the strawberries? Oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, if you screw up the cake, viewers, you're going to have to do this all over again. Haha. <laughs> How is those strawberries that like in is that like a box or something? I can't quite tell. But okay. Looks like we got everything there. No, I do not want to start all over. Thank you, Nintendo, for not putting that on the top of the selection choices. But alright. And I don't think we're gonna actually walk all the way back there. Yeah, yeah, they just automatically take you here. 
Uh, I don't think so. You're still doing pretty good there, champ. But, okay. Please like the cake. Please like the cake. Please don't make me do this all over again, game. I think he liked it. Okay, I think we did good. Phew! Oh, thank you, game, for not making me do that all over again. I think if you screw up, he's like, Hey, what are you trying to do? Kill me here or something? Or what? Words to that effect. Isn't that a little redundant? Lava lava? I don't know. How hard could they possibly be? Well, fortunately we got the ice power badge, so that'll be useful coming up there. But alright. Well, you might want to tell Mario that. Well, that's kind of Twink's job. Does that window even open? Okay, it does. Hmm? What's going on? Uh-oh. Nuts. Where's your broom? What does it matter where I am in the castle? She's kind of a prisoner here. What's she gonna do? Jump off with a umbrella or something? Nuts. Well, at least we baked a good cake and... Well, we got a badge, at least. How's it going? Sounds like a great idea. So what's your power? Is it going to be obscenely useful? And it is! All right, I thought this was the guy who gives us that ability. But yeah, reduces all enemies' attack power by three. It is obscene in certain boss fights. So, but it depends on how the damage calculation, the order of operations for all that stuff works, like with the last stand badge and all that stuff. So, I'll go over that when necessary but there is a good uh stat attack value guide on game facts which is where i found all that stuff out i did not figure this out on my own uh by the way uh do not get confused between the star power or the muscular star power chill out and the chill out badge that's where i got confused the first time i played the game and i didn't understand which one was which when like other pieces of information were saying talking about chill out and I'm like why would I care about chill out that doesn't do anything that I care about for the most part yeah we're we're all kind of related technically wouldn't uh what be a star I mean he's like a little sun guy S star or sons of stars but, okay. Well, yeah, you're kind of floating in midair. You gotta stay afloat somehow. So what's up? How are we gonna get there? Well, we do have that port around here. Maybe they got a ship. How do they have a port here without any ships, anyway? I mean, you'd figure there'd be, like, one or two of them docked, at least. But, okay. Maybe you could just take the chest to get down here next time, Twink. Okay. So, let's see. How How's my inventory looking? I'm probably full, aren't I? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm not really worried about that, because, well, we got other stuff to do. Let's see, now that we are in 
Well, between chapters, we're not in chapter 5 yet. But I do want to go up here and we got some more badges we can buy. So let's see what we got. Another HP plus badge that I'll probably never use, but it's there. Might as well buy it. I've got way too much money anyway. Gotta lighten the load a little bit. And by the way, uh, in case it isn't obvious enough, uh, the HP and FP plus badges stack. So when we're buying like multiples of them, or well, acquiring multiples of them, yeah, it's not like I'm buying the same badge and there's no point in getting it because I already had one before. No, no, they, they're separate badges. So if you really wanted to, I suppose you could put a whole bunch of them on you. All or Nothing, one of my favorite badges in the game. It's basically the same thing as Power Plus, except it, it only costs four badge points. And the, the only drawback is that you have to time your attack whenever you use it. Which I'm already doing anyway, so yeah, there's practically no drawback to it. So yeah, that's really nice. How are we doing on, uh, okay, HP and FP are full. Don't need to worry about that. Let's see uh, what mail we got now. Or do we have any new mail? Okay, well, let's check it out. How's it going, Cooper? <laughs> wow, well, he's never coming back, is he? Which one was Coover? I forget. Uh, but yeah, we have <laughs> more mail. Frosty, where's Frosty? What's snow and ice? We haven't been to an ice area yet. Spoiler alert, we're going to have an ice area in a Mario game. Well, maybe we'll see that guy later on. What do you mean, may you never mo- What does that even mean? Is he, is he talking about Paracary's feathers? Or, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a biology expert. Uh... Watt doesn't have any mail? Okay. Well, I guess we just got her. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're done with that. Well, thank you. Why do I keep on hearing that, like, telephone ringing sound effect every now and then? What, what's up with that? I don't know. Well, let's see what's going on back at Mario's house there. I like going through all this stuff. Gives the game flavor. Kind of like, uh... Majora's Mask, except happier, or happy at all, really. Let's see, okay, Luigi's not there. Hopefully he's not in the basement, both literally and figuratively. Hey, what do you think you're doing reading my mail? Oh, okay, well, I read your diary entries, but I didn't get caught, I don't think. How's it going? Now uh, he's just tattling on all the enemies, pretty much. I don't think we ever see her again, really. I mean, beyond, you know, going back to the village to spawn, uh, uh what's his, Chuck Quizmo. Been too long. Oh, well, good for you. How are we supposed to find out all these recipes? Is there like an NPC like Merlon or Merlovely or whoever like would tell us about all these recipes or is it just purely trial and error? I don't know. But anyway, okay, well, we got one more. Are you the owner or the kid? I think you're the owner. I forget the name of the Ralph's kid. Uh, okay, zero. Well, let me do the math here. Zero percent of hundred is well, zero times zero. Carry the zero. Nothing. Yeah, it's still nothing. But anyway, we might as well uh, peek at Luigi's diary. 
Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, we already uh, figured that out a while ago. Ha! <laughs> Probably not. How many Goombas are there, anyway? Well, there would be six of them, so... Okay, five of them, without Goombario. Oh! Well, good for you! Okay, well, that's everything we can do there. Let's see. Okay, well, we got some more favors that we can do for Koopa Coot coming up there. Do I need to withdraw anything? I don't think so. Oh, I need the uh, Koopasta there. So I'll take that out of uh, inventory now that I've uh, finished all that. Probably just sell all the items I got. And we also got to do some more, uh, well, Chuck Quizbo farming to do. Let's see. Are there any items I want to keep? I don't think so. Yeah, I can pretty much uh, safely uh, get rid of all that stuff. Uh, let's see. There's nothing more that we can do in Toad Town Tunnels because, well, we didn't get any equipment upgrades, so... Oh, well. How many coins is Koopa Koot going to give us for doing all these favors for him next? Find out next time on Let's Play Paper Mario. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.